An urban legend, urban myth, urban tale, or contemporary legend is a modern genre of folklore. It usually consists of fictional stories, often presented as true, with macabre or humorous elements, rooted in local popular culture. These legends can be used for entertainment purposes, as well as semi-serious explanations for random events such as disappearances and strange objects. Urban legends are spread by any media, including newspapers, email and social media. Some urban legends have passed through the years with only minor changes to suit regional variations. More recent legends tend to reflect modern circumstances, like the story of people ambushed and anesthetized, who awaken minus one kidney, which was supposedly surgically removed for transplantation. Urban legends are commonly told and used in folklore and tend to play on the fears and emotions of people. Urban legends are used to contribute to the fears of society creating anxiety and even adding to the prejudice of a society. Urban legends are also referred to as contemporary legends. Topic origins and structure The term urban legend, as used by folklorists, has appeared in print since at least 1968. Jan Harold Brunvand, professor of English at the University of Utah, introduced the term to the general public in a series of popular books published beginning in 1981. Brunvand used his collection of legends, The Vanishing Hitchhiker, American Urban Legends and Their Meanings 1981, to make two points, first, that legends and folklore do not occur exclusively in so-called primitive or traditional societies, and second, that one could learn much about urban and modern culture by studying such tales. Many urban legends are framed as complete stories with plot and characters. The compelling appeal of a typical urban legend is its elements of mystery, horror, fear or humor. Often they serve as cautionary tales. Some urban legends are morality tales that depict someone, usually a child, acting in a disagreeable manner, only to wind up in trouble, hurt, or dead. Topic propagation and belief As Jan Brunvand points out, antecedent legends including some of the motifs, themes and symbolism of these urtexts can readily be identified. Cases which may have been at least partially inspired by real events include the death car traced by Richard Dorson to Michigan, United States, the solid cement Cadillac and the possible origin of the hook in the 1946 series of Lover's Lane murders in Texarkana, Texas, United States. The urban legend that Coca-Cola developed the drink Fonda to sell in Nazi Germany without public backlash originated as the actual tale of German Max Keith, who invented the drink and ran Coca-Cola's operations in Germany during World War II. The teller of an urban legend may claim it happened to a friend or to a friend of a friend, which serves to personalize, authenticate and enhance the power of the narrative while distancing the teller. Many urban legends depict horrific crimes, contaminated foods, or other situations which would potentially affect many people. Anyone believing such stories might feel compelled to warn loved ones. On occasion, news organizations, school officials and even police departments have issued warnings concerning the latest threat. According to the lights out rumor, street gang members would drive without headlights until a compassionate motorist responded with the traditional flashing of headlights, whereupon a prospective new gang member would have to murder the citizen as a requirement of initiation. A fax received at the Nassau County, Florida Fire Department was forwarded to police, and from there to all city departments. Even the Minister of Defence for Canada was taken in by the same legend, he forwarded an urgent security warning to all Ontario members of Parliament. Myths are only believable in the sense of how many people keep them alive albeit by forwarding a text message or sharing a post on social media platforms. Posting what people believe is true or if the content is provocative under a hashtag can share the content to millions of people worldwide. 
Once the story containing a story or visual gets embedded in the minds of the viewers, it is hard to get over the primal fear that kick in once reading the legends. Many urban legends are essentially extended jokes, told as if they were true events. Urban legends typically include common elements, the legend is retold on behalf of the original witness or participant, dire warnings are often given for those who might not heed the advice or lesson contained therein, this forms a typical element of many email phishing scams, and the tale is often touted as something a friend told me, while the friend is identified by first name only or not identified at all, persistent urban legends often maintain a degree of plausibility, such as a serial killer deliberately hiding in the back seat of a car. One such example since the 1970s has been the recurring rumor that the Procter & Gamble company was associated with Satan worshippers because of details within its 19th century trademark. The legend interrupted the company's business to the point that it stopped using the trademark. Topic. Belief and relation to mythology The earliest term by which these narratives were known, urban belief tales, highlights what was then thought of as a key property. Their tellers regarded the stories as true accounts, and the device of the FOAF acronym for Friend of a Friend. Invented by English writer and folklorist Rodney Dale in 1976, was a spurious but significant effort at authentication. The coinage leads in turn to the terms, Foe Floor, and Fofe Tale. While at least one classic legend, the Death Car, has been shown to have some basis in fact, folklorists have an interest in debunking these narratives only to the degree that establishing non-factuality warrants the assumption that there must be some other reason why the tales are told, retold, and believed. As in the case of myth, these narratives are believed because they construct and reinforce the worldview of the group within which they are told, or because they provide us with coherent and convincing explanations of complex events. Social scientists have started to draw on urban legends in order to help explain complex socio-psychological beliefs, such as attitudes to crime, childcare, fast food, SUVs and other family choices. Here the authors make an explicit connection between urban legends and popular folklore, such as Grimm's fairy tales, where similar themes and motifs arise. For this reason, it is characteristic of groups within which a given narrative circulates to react very negatively to claims or demonstrations of non-factuality. An example would be the expressions of outrage by police officers who are told that adulteration of Halloween treats by strangers, the subject of periodic moral panics, occurs extremely rarely, if at all. Topic Documenting The Internet makes it easier to both spread urban legends and debunk them. Discussing, tracking, and analyzing urban legends is the topic of the Usenet newsgroup, alt.folklore.urban and several web sites, most notably Snopes.com. The United States Department of Energy had a service, now discontinued, called Hoaxbusters, that dealt with computer-distributed hoaxes and legends. Television shows such as Urban Legends, Beyond Belief, Fact or Fiction, and later mostly True Stories, Urban Legends Revealed, feature reenactments of urban legends detailing the accounts of the tales and, typically, later in the show, these programs reveal any factual basis they may have. The Discovery Channel TV show Mythbusters 2003 to 2016 tried to prove or disprove urban legends by attempting to reproduce them using the scientific method. The 1998 film Urban Legend featured students discussing popular urban legends while at the same time falling victim to them. Between 1992 and 1998, The Guardian newspaper, Weekend Section published the illustrated, Urban Myths, 
column by Phil Healy and Rick Glanville, with content taken from a series of four books, Urban Myths, The Return of Urban Myths, Urban Myths Unplugged, and Now. That's what I call urban myths. The 1994 comics anthology The Big Book of Urban Legends, written by Robert Boyd, Jan Harold Brunvand, and Robert Lauren Fleming, collected 200 urban legends told in comics form. The British writer Tony Barrail has explored urban legends in a long-running column in the Sunday Times. These include the story that Orson Welles began work on a Batman movie in the 1940s, which was to feature James Cagney as the Riddler and Marlene Dietrich as Catwoman, the persistent rumor that the rock singer Courtney Love is the granddaughter of Marlon Brando, and the idea that in a famous 1970s poster of Farrah Fawcett, there is a subliminal sexual message concealed in the actress hair. Topic. Examples Internet urban legends are folklore stories that are spread through the Internet. They may be spread through Usenet or email, or more recently by social media. Crime storiaces with traditional urban legends, many Internet rumors are about crimes either fictional, or based on real events but blown out of proportion. Crime stories are dangerous because they make claims to be news that are relevant to modern times and do not follow the patterns of a typical urban legend. Medical hoax people believing that eating watermelon seeds will result in growing a watermelon in their stomachs. Old wives' tales like going outside after just having taken a shower will result in catching a cold. Internet urban legends are mostly spread on social media. A myth can also be linked to viral content on the internet. People tend to share articles that makes them feel strongly to whatever the topic of the legend is. People prefer to pass along versions that produced the highest level of disgust. Urban legends can also be referred to as myths or rumors due to their unreliability and lack of credibility. Chain email letters Chain letters are a variety of urban legends concerning emails that tell the reader to make copies of, and redistribute, the email or they will meet a terrible fate. Chain letters are more often demanded to be re-shared by users. Chain letters always easy to spot as they follow a certain outline, the hook, the threat, and the request. Chain letters tell stories about a certain person who suffered the consequences because they did not re-share the letter. Fake virus and malware alerts Fake virus alerts, telling people of non-existent threats to their computer, are commonly distributed by email. Fake virus have become a prevalent part of internet culture pop-ups claiming to be giveaways, store coupons and giveaway hoaxes. Topic marketing Hidden meanings in Lagos companies have been accused of hiding secret messages behind their logo or packaging that supposedly hides or promotes the use of the occult, therefore making the brand popular. In the case of the old Procter & Gamble symbol, it was speculated that the brand was trendy because they were supposedly worshippers of the occult. It was believed to be true because if the 13 stars in the symbol were connected a certain way, it would show three sixes in a row. Another company accused of hiding a secret meaning behind their logo would be Monster Energy. After a viral video of a Christian woman exposing Monster Energy for using the Hebrew alphabet symbol for the letter M being used to disguise the number 666 went viral on Facebook, people were quick to speculate whether or not it was true. Topic. See also List of urban legends Creepypasta Japanese urban legend Factoid Old wives' tale Superstition Woozle effect